Hey everybody, this is Sergio Gonzalez. I'm uh, also known as Dr. Offset on the web and this is my entry for the 555 timer contest design contest thing. And um, this is it. This is called the catch a bug in Zappa. Yeah, so let's, let's have a look at it. It plugs into an amplifier and it's also a sculpture. Did sort of a creature design here, sculpted out a creature, and I made the um, the circuit a part of the actual body of the creature itself. So first let's talk about the circuit. This is three pretty standard 555 A-stable oscillators. And those three oscillators are running into a fourth 555 chip. Oscillator one is the core frequency of the machine and connects to pin two on the on the fourth 555 here. And then this one here is connected to pin four of the 555 timer chip here and that's kind of changing the timbre of the and the thickness of the sound itself and oscillator 3 here is acting more like an LFO and it is um, creating some kind of underlying pulses in the sound we have the choice between using the phototransistor or the potentiometer that's attached to the three main oscillators here and um, that's decide that's chosen with these switches here and also we have switches here that change out the timing capacitors. We have control voltage inputs for each of the three main oscillators. And we have an on and off switch. We have a power starve, which we'll see the effect of later. We have a volume knob, we have a basic ground input, uh, ground output, and we have the part that plugs into the amplifier here. Here's the bug sculpture. This is a three-eyed monster. We can see the components of the circuit itself that are embedded inside of the body. And we can see these little offspring 555s here. So this is sort of giving birth to a clutch of, of new chips. And um, they actually serve a purpose. These 555 timers here, if you measure the resistance between pin 1 and pin 5, that's 10k. So I'm using those as the resistor that's connected to these 3A stable oscillators. So these are actually uh, a part of the circuit itself and I'm not actually using any discrete resistors. I'm only using 555s as resistors. And uh, the timing capacitors for the circuits are part of the body, as well as the, the decoupling capacitors here. The eyeballs are phototransistors, which you'll be able to select, you know, whether or not you're going to use the phototransistor or you're going to use the, the potentiometer. I've got some super bright LEDs here. These are connected to the power star um, potentiometer. Do you like these bezels? They're just the, uh, the nuts from the banana jacks. They're perfect. I thought they looked pretty cool. Anyway. So like I said before, the story behind this is that this object was created in a uh, post-apocalyptic world where life has taken on a new meaning, you know, life has mutated into incorporating the electronic junk that's just, just left behind in the, in the wake of the blast. And um, this is a sort of do-it-yourself kit that a, a child would make and would buy kind of um, in what they have for mail order. And uh, it comes to them and they put it together and they can capture their own little bug. And there are all kinds of bugs like these crawling around in the, um, in the, in the rubble of the world. And um, so what you do is you capture it and you put it in this dome. And then you get some just whatever circuit board that you can scrounge up. And then you put it down there as sort of bedding. And of course there would be some dirt and debris and there's some grass growing down there and a little flower made out of a resistor that's growing up and uh, the little children are running around, the little offspring are running around and capacitors are shooting up at like mushrooms. So let's hear this thing in action. Okay, now this is not going to make beautiful music. This is going to make noise. Shrill, loud, crazy noise. So are you ready? Phototransistors are working. I'll set everything up to phototransistor mode. It is phototransistor mode. Go! See, 
can play with the light. You can change the capacitors. You hear that beautiful kind of interference coming in from below. Changing the capacitors on the LFO does a lot for thickening up the sound. Oh yeah. We're at full power right now, we can see because of the LEDs. If I start starving this, I'll start turning this knob. Sorry, I ate beans for lunch. I can play with this all freaking day, I love it. We have a volume knob. I like tuning the starve knob to just the point of chaos. Woo! I'm gonna turn this, this one to potentiometer mode. So now the core frequency the core frequency is this oscillator and then these two are still controlled by the This one is still on the um, foot, the photo transistor. This is the one connected to pin four. Let's change capacitor. If you tune these two capacitors to very close to the same frequency, it kind of starts to pulse, you know. There's no reverb or effects or anything. So there it is, the 555 based catch a bug and zapper sculpture noise circuit thing. I hope you enjoyed this um, little series of build videos and uh, leave a comment and subscribe and uh, let me know if you liked it and uh, if you want me to do any more or if you want me to do something different and um, thanks a lot. See ya.